saviors are coming. And we will fight them. But my people, they are coming. Doesn't matter. It's already too late. This is where you die. The Walking Dead returns Sunday, February 25th. Hey guys, Kiwi here. In this video, I'll be breaking down and analyzing the newest promo trailer for Season 8 Episode 9 of The Walking Dead, the Season 8 mid-season premiere. With that being said, warning is spoilers for everything the show up to the most recent episode, Season 8 Episode 8, and let's jump right into this. Alright, now it is officially February and AMC is rolling out more Walking Dead teasers. I assume we'll be getting more throughout the month leading up to the return of the show on the 25th, but this brand new 30 second promo trailer is definitely a great start. Alright, so the promo starts out with a few shots of Alexandria, which is destroyed and burning. The first shot just shows the neighborhood on fire, while the second shot shows Rick and Michonne carrying Carl, which I believe is actually the same shot from a promo image recently released through Entertainment Weekly. So about Carl, I've mentioned this before, so to make a long story short, they want to get Carl out of the sewers so he can die above ground in Alexandria instead of in some gross, dark, depressing sewer. Apparently, Greg Nicotero told Entertainment Weekly that he was bawling his eyes out after watching the first 20 minutes of episode 809, so I assume that that contains all the depressing, sappy Carl stuff where all the characters say goodbye to him and cry over the realization of his death, followed by the actual death itself. Now, will Carl kill himself like, let's say, Andrea back in season 3, or will Rick or Michonne or someone else put Carl out of his misery? Also, is that grave from the first promo trailer actually in fact Carl's grave? And don't even get me started on those damn letters that Carl wrote before Negan attacked Alexandria. Sorry if that seemed a little bit all over the place, but there are just so many questions about Carl to be answered, and I feel like we'll get it all during the first half of the episode. Episode 809 is confirmed to be an extended 82 minutes long episode, so I feel like the Carl stuff will only last the first half of the episode at most, while the second half of the episode will focus on the Alexandrians saying goodbye to Alexandria as a whole as they relocate to the hilltop for the rest of the war. Speaking of which, clips show Daryl waving through the group of Alexandrians in the woods as it looks like we'll see a few brief moments of their travels from Alexandria to the hilltop. Is this just what we saw in the first promo trailer with all the Alexandrians? wandering through the woods. Now, in the first trailer, it looked like they were chasing something. They were all running, while here it looks like they're carefully traveling to the hilltop, so we'll have to wait and see if it's the same situation or not, because I'm pretty sure that they literally show the same clip of Sadiq and Daryl running through the woods that was in the first trailer, so we'll just have to wait and see what causes them to run in the woods in general. Are they chasing something? Is Dwight trying to run away for some reason? Or are they just being attacked by zombies? Like, what's going on there? Anyways, next up we see Maggie, and and this first clip of her was shown in the first promo trailer, but now that I think about it, is this her noticing the Alexandrians walking up to the hilltop? Also, we get a second clip of Maggie that shows her walking through the hilltop with a group around her. We see Alexandrian Scott, I believe, some hilltop soldier, uh, that kingdom archer uh, Diane, I believe her name is, and Jerry. I wasn't actually sure if Simon gave Jerry back to them or if he kept Jerry as a hostage, but I guess that this settles it. They let Jerry go. The next clip shows Michonne talking to Enid behind the top of the hilltop walls, so that confirms that they both get to the hilltop. Enid tells Michonne that the saviors are coming, and that just reminds me of when Cal yelled, the saviors are coming at the hilltop last season, but more importantly, I wanted to focus on Enid here. We last left off on a cliffhanger with her and Aaron at Oceanside, as Enid had just shot and killed their leader, Natanya, since she was attacking Aaron and threatening his life. It looks like Enid is safe and back at the hilltop, but where is Aaron? Where are the people from Oceanside? I might create a full video about this now that we have more info on Enid, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. Did they take Aaron hostage or something? The next clip shows yet another angle of what looks like Negan explaining his idea to put zombie guts on savior weapons to effectively poison them. This will play a major role in the back half of All Out War, and I've recently created a video focusing on the topic, so if you'd like to know more about that, feel free to check it out for a full explanation. Next up, we have yet another intimidating shot of Negan in the meeting room, this time with his back turned to the table with Lucille placed at the end of it. I'm not sure if this will be a scene with Eugene, Dwight, maybe both, or even Simon, but either way, it will definitely be an intimidation tactic of some sort. 
Now what we see next, I'm going to create an entire video on, but we get teased what looks like Rick and Michonne going to confront Jadis for possibly the final time. We can see them walking through a shipping crate, and I believe that this is the same shipping crate that Jadis uses as their front entrance at the junkyard. Now later on in the promo, we can see an image of Simon talking to Jadis as well. So there are multiple possibilities here, but whether it's Simon's group or Rick's group, I'm placing pets that someone is going to take out Jadis's group by the end of the season. Let me know what you guys think, but for now, I'm just going to say RIP to the junkyard. Moving on, I'm honestly not too sure what Morgan is up to here, but it seems like he's luring a horde of zombies along a fence, and then there's another clip of him fighting a few zombies in what looks like a diner or a bar or something with his staff. We last left off with him awaiting the correct moment to possibly save Ezekiel from Gavin at the kingdom, so does this have anything to do with that, or is this later on in the season during an unrelated moment? Does this have to do with the Morgan crossover? Anyways, the next clip actually confirms something that I've been meaning to talk about for a long time, Eugene making bullets. I literally already have a video mapped out about this discussing Eugene making ammo for Negan, so I'm glad to see more about it and in fact get further confirmation that it's happening, but I'll save my full discussion for a separate video in the near future, be sure to look out for it. Next up, we get a clip of the saviors marching, and then we also get a clip of Simon and Dwight standing beside some sort of vehicle on its side and on fire. What sort of mission could Simon and Dwight be on? I assume that this is a bit later on in the season, maybe around the same time that Negan announces his idea to coat savior weapons and zombie guts, but that's just going by the clothes that they're wearing, particularly Dwight. Now, in fear of repeating myself here, if you're wondering why Dwight appears to be beside Simon, along with back at the sanctuary when Negan is supposed to be aware that he is the rat, I actually have a full video discussing this, so be sure to check that out as well if you haven't yet already. I also have a full video discussing Carol and Morgan possibly saving Ezekiel from Gavin, and this new promo trailer doesn't even show anything new involving them anyways, just the same few clips from the original promo trailer for episode 809. Something new that I did want to discuss, however, is actually Tara pointing her silenced pistol at Dwight. It makes sense that we'd have more Dwight, Tara, and Daryl conflict in the following few episodes, as just a few episodes ago, Daryl and Tara were planning on murdering Dwight together. They've kept him alive due to him proving himself useful on multiple accounts, but I could easily see Tara flipping out at him if he even looks at her wrong, let alone saying the wrong thing. I'm glad that we're getting this Tara-Dwight confrontation, and hopefully they'll be able to at least work things out a little. Now when you listen to the dialogue going on in the trailer, you first hear Negan saying, my people are coming, and then towards the end of the trailer you hear Rick saying, it doesn't matter, it's already too late, this is where you die. So is this Rick responding to Negan? They both look like they're in some sort of rundown building or warehouse, so is this the sanctuary or somewhere else? Are we actually getting teased a Rick versus Negan standoff right here? Also, at the very end of the trailer, we can see what looks like Enid collapsing to her knees as she cries, so is this her finding out that Carl is dead, or does this have something to do with Aaron? It looks like there's tents with people behind her, so maybe that's people camping out at the hilltop, but again, we'll just have to wait and see. This was a pretty hyped trailer in my opinion, but let me know if you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Are you hyped for the return of The Walking Dead Season 8? Oh, and if I missed anything in the trailer, feel free to elaborate and let me know. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I'd appreciate a like on the video if you enjoyed anything I've said today, or even subscribe for more Walking Dead Season 8 content in the near future. And if you'd like to take that extra step in helping support my videos, consider checking out my Patreon where there's a bunch of different rewards involving the channel, such as a chance to directly influence the videos being produced. If we can get some real traction behind the Patreon, I'd like to make some exclusive videos, maybe involving the Telltale Walking Dead games or maybe the comics. Let me know what you guys want, and it isn't necessary by any means to check out the Patreon, but it could really help in the long run. But as always, I thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out!